a big event takes place tonight to help raise money to fight breast cancer. And headlining the event is a former American Idol star. Today I sat down with Michael Johns to talk about life after Idol and get a preview of his Fort Wayne performance. You think you've heard this before. Guitar, check. Microphone, check. Hunky musician, check. <laughs> Sense of humor, check. This is going to be so fun. Rehearsal didn't go quite as planned this afternoon at the Vera Bradley headquarters. While staff members scurried to get ready for tonight's Tickled Pink event, Michael Johns was testing the sound quality. He took time out to sit down with me to talk about what's changed in the two years since he was an American Idol finalist. For one, he's recognized everywhere he goes. I don't remember the last time I was in a crowded place like an airport or a mall or something that people don't come up to you. But it's great because people, the only people that really want to come up to you now is uh, the fans. He's also spent more time on airplanes than he'd like. Where, where are you living? I know you're traveling everywhere, but do you have a home base? Yeah, it's, um, it's uh, um, United Airlines, uh, American Airlines. <laughs> it's, kinda, it's been pretty crazy. Oh. Delta. <laughs> And he's had the chance to do some amazing things with his talent, among them supporting charities. That's why he agreed to play at Tickle Pink, a fundraiser for the fight against breast cancer. They asked me would I want to do it. I said, of course. You know, not all. You know, we get asked to do a lot of charity events, different things. So you can't do everything. But I think um, this one in particular, for some reason, spoke to me with breast cancer and just like how much they've given back to the community and. Um, I don't know, it was just one of those things that you just, sometimes you have gut instinct about. At tonight's event caps off Vera Bradley's $10 million donation toward research that's being conducted right here in Indiana. Coming up tonight at 6, Michael tells me about a strange experience he recently had at an airport.